Captain. People are pouring in. If I'm supposed to do a decent job with the story, you've got to tell me who these people are. Listen, just because you received a promotion by the Chronicle doesn't mean I need you to start acting all nervous on me. <clears throat> I got you. Listen, I'll be there when I can get there. Just go to the bar, get a drink, get your pen ready. Besides, June won't be there for another 30 minutes. You know, that's easy for you to say, miss. I'm a paralegal at the largest law firm slash talent agency in North Carolina. Look, I'm at the bar. Just promise you're gonna get here, like, now. You just breathe. Bye. I'm sorry, gentlemen. That actually was one of my girlfriends who just received a promotion as the lead reporter, and she's covering June's retirement party this evening, and kind of needs my help with the who's who's list. She's a little bit nervous, and I don't have much time, but how can I help you? <sighs> Natalie, listen. Now that June's retiring, okay, we need just kind of Step up a little around here and help out with the transition. Meaning? Hold that thought. You're gonna have enough time to get to the party, but we're gonna continue this conversation in the conference room. The conference room now. were saying? Yeah. Uh, meaning, Natalie, that Mr. Carlisle is not going to be here anymore. So it's imperative that the three of us continue to work as a team. Now it's obvious Mr. Carlisle is a little hesitant about taking the next step in his life there. But who can blame him? I mean, this is a man who spent the last 20 plus years building this organization, a world-class agency. So we owe it to him to continue that vision. Am I right? I mean, you're exactly right. But Mr. Foster and Mr. Montague, I just want to let you know that I will do everything that I need to do to make sure that our clients are aware of the transition that we're about to take, as well as any future potential clients that we will acquire tonight at the restaurant, at the restaurant, Jesus, at the retirement party. Yeah. Procure records. That's great. You know, we knew, we knew we could count on you. Yeah, speaking of the new clients, uh, what's the status on the pastor? Well, Pastor Pierce and his wife are still expected to be in attendance tonight. So the plan is when I see you two, I will approach, do the introduction, and then let you take it from there. Good. Awesome. You know what? They need to understand that Carlisle Agency can take them to the next level. Matter of fact, from my understanding, his last project was produced by Tasha Cobbs. Tasha Cobbs. That's correct. The Grammy Award winner. Now that's somebody we gotta get an audience with like yesterday. Well, you may get that opportunity tonight. Don't tell me Tasha Cobb's gonna be there. Well, don't don't get ahead of the game right now. Let me just say I don't know her schedule. However, it is no secret. She and Mrs. Carlisle are good friends. So if it doesn't happen tonight, then it's bound to happen in the near future. This is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Good. good. So are we clear now? There's an understanding, we know what roles we're gonna play. Okay, great, gentlemen. Well, I have a nervous reporter who's mixing with the alcohol. I'm sure it's not good, so oh, nice. let me excuse myself. Yes, nervous and alcohol, that's not a good mix. Yeah, we, uh, you go on and we'll be there in a few, okay? Thank you, Natalie. <sighs> Harold, yeah, now this can be real important to us during this transition. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, I just don't want to talk with June's daughter, uh, daughter Renee. Uh, that, that, that woman, I just don't understand. Why? I don't know. Let me guess. Maybe because she thinks you're trying to push her father into retirement. What? No, me? No, no, no. What makes you say a thing like that? You know that's not true. <laughs> what am I getting upset with you for? <laughs> Let me explain something to you, and I'm going to tell you something because I've been around a little longer than you. You know June hasn't been all there. I'd 
personally think it's more than just normal aging. I, I hate to say it, but I think it's dementia. Look, okay, we both know that June has been around for a long time, okay? And yet, he may not be the man that he used to be, but, but, Robert, there's no buts. Uh, I'm going to say something that I really like to talk about. A lot of people don't know this. I watched my wife die from Alzheimer's. I took care of her the last 10 years of my life. It's devastating what happens to a person until you see it firsthand. That's why I hope and pray that Catherine puts two and two together and gets him to a neurologist, ASAP. Well, good luck with that. You know, Catherine may be his lovely wife, but that Renee, Renee, she's the one that runs that house. And trust me, I'd rather walk through hell with gasoline drawers on. What are you talking Serious. <laughs> before I tell her anything's wrong with her father. <laughs>
Now this one right here, this female right here with the red shoes on. Now that is the Renee Carlisle. And let me tell you, although she doesn't work for the agency, she definitely runs it from behind the scenes. What do you mean by that? Well, I did say that her last name was Carlisle, didn't I? Yeah. And trust me, June lets everybody know that that's his only begotten daughter. Okay, well, who is that over there? Hello, Natalie. Mr. C's running a few minutes late. We'll be there shortly, okay? I'm not going to that party, Bill. Look, is Renee there yet? If so, would you please tell her to call me? It's very important. Look, I gotta go now. Bye. You think he's slick, don't you, Bill? You think he's slick? I'm not going to that feel sorry for June party. I'm not going. June, will you please calm down? You acted just like your granddaughter. Cut. I am. Oh, action. Hello. Cut the speaker on. Put it on speaker. Mr. Bill, this is Renee. How far are you? It don't matter how close we are. We're not coming. But, Daddy, why are you being so stubborn? Don't do this. Is that your father on the phone? Yes, Ma, and he said he's not coming. Let me speak to him. June, what is this nonsense I hear that you're not coming to the party? Well, baby, let me tell you something. I'm not coming to that feel sorry for June party. Catherine, you my wife. You know there's nothing wrong with me. Why are you and they putting me up to this? June Carlisle, you will not embarrass me and the rest of the family. You will get here. And Bill, you see to it. Bring the car to the Cardinal Hotel. We'll be right there, Mr. C. Yeah, the truck might be there, but I'm not getting out. June, you know something? I've known you over 25 years. And I would never tell you anything wrong, but this is one time you need to listen to your wife. So he's not coming? He said he wasn't getting out the truck, Renee. Then let me call his sister. No, I can handle daddy. Renee, if you could handle your father, he would be here by now. Hell, if I could handle your father, he would be here by now. Renee, get Patricia. And, and times like this, he only listens to her anyway. Well, you get Fine. Patricia. Well, well, there she comes right now. Good evening, ladies. Hi, Hi Trish. Trish. Hey, Please meet my date for tonight. His, His name, name is Ray. Date? Son, how old are you? Oh, no, 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 baby. All you need to know is that he is not wet behind the ears. Well, Trish, she's a little damp back there. Mama, that's OK. It's all right. Because it still amazes me that you're married to my brother for 25 years and you still can't get him to do what you want him to do. Not tonight, Trish. I'm not going there with you tonight. Get your brother here before all this gets ugly. This or you? <laughs> if I ain't know any better, I'd say your makeup was running. Okay, ladies, perhaps we can talk about this another time, but we need to focus on getting June here before everyone else starts noticing that he's not here. Y'all need to calm down. June is sitting outside with Bill. Okay, Natalie, make sure things keep running. I'm going outside to talk to Dad. Oh, no, 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 you're not. I got this. You need to sit yourself right over there with your mother because she's the one going to need you if she don't see your daddy in here in a few minutes. Thank you, Trish, for all of your help. Y'all going to learn how to respect me because I'm the one running things up in here. Oh, look at my sweetie pie. Hey, Trish, how you doing, baby? Hi, Bill. Is my brother in there? Oh, uh, yeah, he in there. He said he ain't coming out, though. Well, you know how he is. Well, you know, I had to come out here and smoke a cigarette. I can't smoke in the truck. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. Who is that young buck I saw you with? Well, it's two key words in that sentence. Young and buck. Oh, you a mess, girl. Come on, get <laughs> <I> in here. <know. laughs> so you O.J. Simpson and I'm Al Collins. The only difference is this ain't no white Bronco. Sis, I can't do this. June Carla, why are you scared? Now what you're not gonna do, you're not gonna embarrass the family name. 
something I got to tell you. No, you need to listen to me. You need to get yourself together and come inside. For Lisa, for Renee, and as bad as I hate to say it, that crazy wife of yours. Now, why would you let Robert and Harold drive you into depression? It's true, sis. It's true. What's true? What are you talking about? I, what are you saying? I went to the doctor yesterday, and it's true. I got dementia, and it might be Alzheimer's. Maybe. Maybe. Look. Here are the results. I want you to get home, look at it, and we'll talk about it tomorrow, but... Sis, I got dementia. I'm, I'm gonna need you to go with me back to the doctor next week. June, I can't believe you. You went through all of this by yourself. I, went, no. I had to know, sis. I had to know. And now that I know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I ain't said nothing to my wife, and we both know Renee gonna take this the hardest. Can't we seek a second opinion? We can do whatever we want to do, but the bottom line is I've been diagnosed with dementia. And you and the doctor are the only ones that know. I can't believe this, dude. Look, when I get back from the doctor next week, I'm going to need you to help me figure some stuff out. All right? I got you, Joe. You know this. Look, I love you, sis, but I know I'm your big brother. After I give my speech tonight, just get me out of this part. I, I just want to go home. Can you do that? I got you, Joe. You know, you always taught me to be strong in difficult situations and I guess this one is no different. You all right, sis? I don't want to look at that. The doctor is just going to have to tell me and explain it to me when we go to next week. All right. I love you, big brother. I love you, too. I love you, too, June. But I got to get back inside. Because <laughs> I got a young buck in there waiting on me. <laughs> and there's too many women up in there from skirt tails by themselves. <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do. I know he's getting out now, as convincing as you can be. You know what you need to do, Trish? You need to drop that young buck and get with an old player like me. Bill, the only thing an old man can do for me is show me where a young one is. Oh, girl, you a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna see you inside. Go on now. Bill, I done told you. Too much for you, Bill Rams. Joe Carla. Pastor, we are glad that you made it here tonight. I'm sure this is going to mean a lot to June. Well, Mr. Carlisle has done so much for our community, and besides, his wife is an active member of our church. You know, Pastor, we're going to take some time tonight to discuss your future with the agency. Wait, yeah. I thought tonight was about June. You're absolutely right, it is. Matter of fact, it's a June. It's a June. It's a June. It's a June. Excuse me, uh, guys, you mind if I talk to the pastor in private? Good to see you, June. Congrats on all of your success. I appreciate you coming out tonight. Um, I really need to talk to you about something. Okay. Well, uh, June, you have my cell number. Uh, just call me anytime. Okay, I'll do that. Um, maybe I'll give you a call tomorrow and we can discuss some things. That'd be great. Uh, listen, while we're talking, uh, can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Uh, when I was doing my recording, June, you told me that you would come through. Why didn't you come to the recording? I told you I was coming to the recording. Yes, we, we, we had several conversations on the telephone, and uh, you said that you would stop through, and I uh, just wanted to introduce you to some of our producers. Pastor, I'm sorry. I've been overwhelmed a lot lately. Please forgive me, but I'm going to give you a call tomorrow, okay? Please do. I appreciate Good to see you.
Take care, y'all. Take care. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. Daniel! But the track is on 52 is a beast. Now, where my daddy at? I said, where my daddy at? Sexy, sexy, sexy. Why don't you come over here? Because I'm like a dog. I'm going to bite you like a bone. I'm not drunk. Mama, listen, what's up with me and you tonight? Nothing. What do you mean? Nothing. Mama. I missed you. Stop. Leave it to you to spoil the night. Y'all don't. No. And you drunk. Ain't nobody don't drunk. And I'm not here for you. I'm here for my daddy. You got that? Why? Are you here? Daddy, you know, I, I would never miss your retirement party. Let me tell you something. I'm about to do something to you. I should have did when your mama told me you left Yale. I'm going to leave you. You are disappointed in me. Daniel. 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 Get yourself together, son. June. I can't believe you. Say what? You heard what I said. You can't believe me. Everybody listen up. Just stop what you're doing. My small ass sister. It's mad because she didn't get her way. Daniel, please. Hey, look, get your hands off me. Don't do this. <laughs> what, what you got, dear part? I'm not even space. I don't hear it. <laughs> Listen, y'all can say goodnight to the bad guy. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! This is not good. Man, we... Bruh. Find us lick, bruh. You know what, I'm what we gonna do? I seen them party earlier. We can get down there and make them all lay what down, you, down there. Man, you just got what out of mean, prison, man. I, 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 know, I, know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my God. Hey, look but, at that. What? That look like a lick right there. Oh, that's a lick? That's, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do? Mm hmm. What you gonna do? No, no, I'm no, finna no, bust him upside the head. No Trying to rob the man, not kill him. Right, right, right. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, come Follow on. Follow my lead. Come on, come on. Man. Follow my lead. Yeah, come on. Yeah, let me get this. <clears throat> Excuse me, pops. Um, man, we kind of ran out of gas down the street down there. And I was wondering if you had a couple of dollars. Yeah, just a couple of couple dollars. Dollars. Yeah, yeah uh, just dollars. just a couple of dollars, man. That's all we need. Yeah, we got a baby. Chew! That's you down there. What was that all about? I don't know, man. I just. Let's let's go, man. You okay, Joe? I want to go home, Bill. You want to go for that walk now? Come on. No, I want to go home. What, Mama? Good morning, Renee. Are you going with me to the shelter today? Mama, I have a busy schedule. I have to meet with Melvin Williams and Daddy later. Where is he? He's in the bed sleep. When did Daddy start sleeping after 9 a.m.? Is he okay? You know, last night when he got home, he was a little tired. Tired? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, um... How about let's do lunch today? Mama, I said I have a busy schedule. Renee? Yes, ma'am. Since when did you not have time for your own mother? Call me. Good morning, Mr.